In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a text pop-out for your e-learning course. Okay, so the reason for this video is one of the viewers of my YouTube channel uh, wrote a comment and here's what they said. Hi Paul, I can't seem to figure this out and I didn't know if you had a video on it. All I need to do is make it so when a user clicks an icon button on the slide, a text pop-up appears, and when they click on the X icon, it closes, but they can stay on the slide. I have this happen on a few other slides in my project. It's like a fun facts thing. So I took the idea of the fun facts thing and did it for myself here. So let's take a look at the project that I've created here, and I'll show you how you can make this work. So I have a fun facts button. It's simply a shape used as a button. Currently the success action is go to next slide. We're gonna change that in a little bit. And here is, um, first of all, a shape with some additional objects in multi-state mode. So you can go into state view and you can add an image, you can add some text, which is what I've done. And I've also placed an icon for exiting or closing this pop-up. So we're going to do a couple of things here. First of all, let's label all of our objects. That's probably one of the most important things. So this will be called our fun facts button. All right. And this pop-up, we'll call this the pop-up background. And we'll call this little icon the close pop-up icon. Okay, I'm actually going to group this with the pop-up in the background so that technically they are one thing. So if I select both of them and right-click and select group, that becomes group number one. So I'm going to call the whole thing pop-up. Simple enough. So in order for the Fun Facts button to function like a toggle, we need to keep track of whether this object is visible or not. And actually, before we get started, let's change the visibility of that pop-up. We're going to click on the eyeball next to it to make it not visible in output by default. So let's start by going to our project drop-down menu and selecting variables. I'm going to add a new variable and I'm going to call this underscore pop-up. We can set its initial value of zero, or you could leave it blank. It doesn't much matter. And we're going to click on Save. So now we can close this, and we can start to write the advanced action for our Fun Facts button. So let's go to Project, go to Advanced Actions, and we will call this Fun underscore Facts underscore Pop-Up. And we're going to make this a conditional advanced action. So in other words, we're going to check to see what the condition of our variable is each time we press this button. So we're going to take a look at the variable we just created. So that is underscore pop-up. And we're going to see if it is equal to the literal value of zero, which it is the first time we arrive on this slide. Now, if that's the case, we're going to assign pop-up with a literal value of one. I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. I'm going to change it to zero. So essentially what we've created is a true toggle. So when I press it the first time, we will assign a value of one to our variable. If I press it a second time, we'll revert it back to the value of zero. Now we want to do some other things as well. We're going to show our pop-up. Now, if we press it a second time, we want to hide that pop-up. And that's actually all we need to do. You could add some effects, you could play some sound, you could do other things as well. But when it comes right down to it, this is really all you need. So I'm going to save this as an action, click OK, and click Close. And we're going to select the Fun Facts button. We'll select Actions, and we will execute Advanced Actions, and we'll choose our Fun Facts pop-up script. That's it. 
Now you might be wondering, well, how does the X work in the grouped object? Well, let's select our group object, click the X icon again so that that becomes selected, and we'll go to the Actions tab, and guess what? We don't even need to write a second advanced action. We can use the very same advanced action we created for the Fun Facts button itself. So Execute Advanced Action, Fun Facts Pop-Up, and you can do things like disable the click sound and turn on the hand cursor. And we'll do the same thing for this button too as well. It's already there, perfect. So let's preview this and see how it works. So we're gonna click the Fun Facts button and there's our seahorses are monogamous and mate for life fun facts. And we've got our funny little seahorse there. Let's click on the X icon to close that. And you can use either button to close it. It's completely fine. There you go. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.